What's up guys, in this short tutorial, I will show you how to fix the error code 57, Vanguard not initialized, error you are getting when trying to launch Valorant on your system. This should be quite an easy tutorial, but if you still have any questions, then leave a comment and let me know. First of all, search for uninstall to open up your apps and features system settings window. On this window, search for Riot Vanguard. Make sure that you're filtering this search by all drives. Here select to uninstall Riot Vanguard from your system. In case the uninstall did not work, as it does for some users, then you will have to uninstall Vanguard manually. To do this, open up your command prompt using admin permissions. By searching for CMD, right clicking the command prompt icon and selecting run as administrator. On this window, you will have to use the sc delete vgc and sc delete vgk commands. Both will be listed in the description below. After executing these commands, Vanguard should be uninstalled from your system. In order to finally fix the error, you will have to restart your PC in order for the changes to take effect. When the restart is completed, open up your file explorer. Here, navigate to your C drive, program files, and make sure to completely delete the right Vanguard folder. Now that this is done, the game launcher will re-download and reinstall the missing software to your system the next time you open it up. This should fix the error for the most of you, but in case the problem persists, then make sure that your graphics driver and operating system is up to date. I suggest using the GeForce Experience application if you're using an NVIDIA GPU, but you can also use the AMD driver suit. Depending on how frequently you're updating your GPU, this tweak can make the biggest difference. In the Drivers tab, simply click on Download and the application will automatically download and install the latest driver. When this is done, search for Update to open up your Check for Updates system settings window. Here, click on Check for Updates and after downloading the latest OS update, make sure to restart your PC. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.